Alright Chuchi, now I'm after the invasive European carp. You can eat these guys, but you can also eat a rubber tyre. Having been introduced into Australia by some Ning Nong, they cause a number of issues in aquatic waterways, from permanent turbidity, loss of submergent vegetation, and both direct and indirect competition to native fish species through predation and poor water quality influences. Now, the science to spearing comes down to accuracy, speed, but also another factor, reflection. This is often overlooked and most times not even taken into consideration. Now, imagine you're a fish under the water surface and the difficulty you would have in detecting motion when the top surface of the water is gleaming with sunlight. Walking with my back to the sun, I want to focus on his inability to detect my presence. I'm also aware that there is a slim window of opportunity that allows me to have this advantage. But survival is all about using your surroundings to your advantage, even if it means you have a free extra seconds of concealment. When attempting to throw a spear, hold it at the point of equilibrium. You want it balancing in the middle of your throwing hand, making sure you adjust your body to allow the most force when propelling it forwards. And as I always say with everything I do, patience and persistence is a must. Trust me, Chuchi, you're not going to get in first time, and even if you do, chances are the fish is already dead. It is also important to have someone give the right positive motivational influence, as you don't want to start throwing your spear at the person who is giving you cheek from behind the camera. Yep. What happened? What happened? Another shit throw? <laughs> yep. Now this guy here, he's known as the European carp, and I've caught them before, right? But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start teaching you about the science of the capture and how it can be done. Now, there's many things that go through my mind when I'm out here. A lot of people say I'm not that bright, and that's alright. But the message here is simple. It's all about learning from your experience. If you can't afford a fishing rod, you can make a spear primitively. You can use bamboo which is light, easy to carve and it also floats. So that way you don't lose your spear on the first throw. Teaching yourself this skill is highly rewarding and the time you spend learning it is never lost time. Personally, it is a way of your spirit naturally recharging to the external wild energies which surround you.